Hey GearFAX friends, welcome to the long-awaited review of the Kawai FS610. Obviously this is an older style keyboard, check out the one mono speaker on the left hand side. Tempo control, it doesn't actually have numeric values. 20 basic rhythms. No effects other than a sustain button right here. Over on this side though, we've got a very good navigating system here. You can go up 10 sounds at a time and then zoom in with minus one, plus one increments there. So plus up to 63, say we want to go to 67, there it is. And that's a bit better than using a keypad. Just two categories of sounds, rhythm and sound. So that all seems pretty simple, but there are actually some surprising sonic possibilities on the FS610. Let's run through some of these timbres. Interestingly, 01, our first sound is not the piano sound, it's actually strings. Here's a nice synth string. A more synthy choir kind of sound. very 80s sort of sound there. I can't help wondering what these would sound like mic'd up through a PA. Obviously through the built-in 3-inch speaker it's not all that impressive, but I sense that there is a bit of depth with these sounds. And now the pianos start. Quite buzzy, but a fairly interesting sort of deep brooding kind of piano sound. Here's an interesting one with a bit of oscillation. Interesting rock organ sound. This one's supposed to be accordion, but it's actually quite a nice synth buzz. A nice double bass sound. Again, kind of a mix of natural but sort of synthy as well. This next sound is just called clavy slash bass. Square wave sound. Nice little FM bell. Let's try sustain. Makes virtually no difference, unfortunately. 62 is called synth piano. Sixty-three is where some of the mixtures of sounds starts to get interesting. I'll turn it up a little bit for this. Some sort of weird percussion thing going on in the background there. With sustain as well. Let's try the sustain on. It works like a sample, it's not consistent with the tempo. Interesting, and we will hear that drum sound isolated on its own a little bit later on. Here's a slightly different one. And more. And that's the drum sound that we heard with the piano before isolated. Here's a nice little pulse. Again, let's hit that sustain. More synthiness.
That's a very nice one. A classic poor quality FM bass. Okay, we got one drum kit. Let's listen to the sounds. Synth percussion set down the end here. The first natural drum sound is the bass drum, and I actually really like this one. It's got that very short, precise, new order kind of feel to it. No immense surprises there. But it does get interesting when you try one finger ad lib, which you activate by pressing the yellow button up here. And amazingly, this actually gives you an arpeggiator. Let's try shifting the tempo a little bit. So even one key at a time will give you a whole range of arpeggios to choose from. Oh yeah, now it really gets weird. over the top. Okay, so we're just descending into chaos there. But I think we've got the idea about how the sounds interact with the arpeggios in the one finger ad lib section. Let's have a listen to some rhythms. Oh, a nice finish on the waltz there. So that's the 20 basic rhythms, and I have to admit, the first few I thought sounded really good. Maybe that's just my 80s childhood talking, but I really do like the tight definition in those drums. Yeah. A quick look on the back of the FS6110 will reveal that we have a power in socket and a headphone socket, and that is literally it. And now, of course, the only thing that's left to do is to press the demo button. Thanks for watching Gear Facts, guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing. Please comment on the video. I'm very interested to respond to all of your comments. I'll also put up some links to some other videos of mine that might interest you. And please enjoy the demo of the Kawaii FS610. <laughs>